Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Black. I am the Curator of Archaeology at Ezekiel Museums of South Africa. I am married with a hubby and a toddler, a little girl who is just over two years old. Uh, so my initial reaction to COVID was very interesting because uh, at the time I was hosting an international conference at the museum. And when the conference first started, there was only one case in South Africa and it was the guy I think in KwaZulu Natal. Uh, so we didn't cancel the conference in the weeks leading up to it because South Africa hadn't been affected yet and borders were still open. So people were coming from Australia, from UK, from the United States. Um, but by the time the conference ended, it lasted a week, we had, I think, three positive cases and South Africa was starting to close its borders. So the international attendees had to try and find their way home as quickly as possible. And actually the conference ended on a Sunday and on the Wednesday, I found out that one of the participants tested positive for COVID. So the entire conference was exposed. So that was very fearful. And actually the person that tested positive was a local South African and, you know, everyone had seen this person. Uh, so it's actually what the catalyst was to close Eziko Museum. So the museum closed straight after the conference, but just before lockdown. Uh, my reaction at the time was I was a bit terrified because we didn't know what COVID was. We didn't know how it would affect people. And both myself and my collections manager who helped at the conference were sick. Uh, we just had a cold a rather nasty cold, it wasn't COVID, uh, but we had to go and have tests. Uh, so it was very, very scary to be part of that initial group that was exposed very early on. Um, once the state of disaster was called, um, the museum thankfully let most of us work from home, or initially we had to, that was incredibly difficult. Um, as a mother of a two-year-old and no daycare or nanny, uh, it's very difficult to work and manage a kid. My husband at the time was a teacher um, and his school went directly online straight away. So within two or three weeks of the national lockdown, he had to start working from home, um, online teaching students. And it meant that I had to be mommy all day. So until about 3, 3.30 every day, he would teach. And then we'd swap for a little while so that I could do some of my work. But it was very, very difficult. Um, we had to have fiber installed because our internet was terrible. And thank goodness fiber was an essential service. So we actually could. Um, yeah, up until then, I was using a lot of extra data, and that sort of thing. So the cost was a little bit more. Uh, so the experience from working home initially was very difficult. I have adjusted to it quite nicely. Um, and especially now that schools are, have reopened and my little girl can go to school, I have the freedom to work from home and that's been really successful. Um, it's also given me a sense of security now that I don't have to be exposed, particularly in the CBD, which is every other week potentially a hotspot. So working from home sort of puts me at ease.